Fit like up D, Donny boy here, and here we are for the final race on the Gotthard track. Today, or well, this will be the final race. This is the bonus race. Uh, the original competitors, competitors have run their races, and we're now going to be doing a bonus race with these. Now, I could see this is the ES64 something. Uh, I can't remember the type of train. Oh, it's, it is something like that, but we've selected six of these trains. Uh, the reason being I've selected these is because these are exactly the same train, but there's lots of different liveries for this train. These trains also top out at 143 miles per hour. Now, Every single train on here is exactly the same top speed, power, acceleration, weight, you name it. Everything is exactly the same. So this will be a test to see on which line would have actually been the fastest line to run the race on. So unfortunately we can't do a haulage race with these because I don't actually have or can't find carriages that do uh, 143 miles per hour so we're just going to run with these here we have this uh, Austrian steam train liveried version which I think is pretty smart we also have the night jet team in behind there the hectorail uh, team the Porsche team obviously that was a must the DHL team and the Maersk, uh, the Dispolock team in black there. So they're all lined up, ready to go. Uh, apart from the different types of corners, this should be quite an even race. Uh, as I said, this will be the test to see which corners and things did actually hinder trains in previous races. So, without further ado, we shall get started. Let's just get a pretty cool view of them at the start. There we go. <coughs> Everybody ready to go. So, they are all set to go, I do believe. Uh, I just need to unpause the game. So, for the final race, the bonus race, well, it's about to commence in three, two, one, and go. Well, <laughs> all their horns sort of sounding the same there. Let's just track one of them. So we can sort of track all of them. Pretty even, Steven, so far. Looks like this guy on the right is slightly, but he's got more distance to travel, so this guy, the black livery train on the inside should go further so they're up to 91 already there is this slow section of track here that brings them down to 75 and he is back to normal almost so there's now actually a clear winner the night jet team seems to be just edging out in front that is the slow section of track through the mountain and then they'll be able to uh, open up the taps and get going in the fast section or will they? I'm pretty sure I made most of the track capable of handling trains at 143 so here they go, now it looks like you are in the lead, no, the night jet team is still in the lead Right, let's jump on board, because this is actually the middle train. There's the night jet team on the right hand side. There they are up to 100. I love the livery of train, I think it's, it is really smart, actually. Right, they're coming back down, let's escape out of there, and they are starting to split up slightly. So it seems trains on the inside track suffered there, or on this right hand side track, everything on the left seems to have held up quite well. Now they are all up to 143, if I was to play us at 3 times speed, there we go, insanity would then follow, <laughs> well fast. 
So, the night jet team just still on the lead and no more. As they head down here, they'll then head up. There is a section where they have to slow down as they come up to this tunnel. So it seems though it would be beneficial to be on this right hand side currently. But that may change. There is the slow section of track down by the Alp de Sevecchia. It's weird because I go as far as to say is this train should probably probably be leading if the case of being on the right hand side was the faster option. Right, they're heading in through the tunnel again. Let's jump back on the door with the Hector Rail train. He may actually be in the lead. Is he in the lead? He's sort of just in second place there. Or is he? Yes, he is. Still going at 143. I don't think they have to slow down through this section. Let's in fact jump on the D12 train. Still going at 143. No slowing down. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see if it we've got going now. It does seem as though the night jet train is edged further in front. Right, we're going to go through the mountain here. And we're going to pop out at the other side. Here they go. Now they are slowing down here, but it looks like everybody's slowing down 112. If that's the case, this train on the inside track with the shorter distance to cover should pull back into the front. So again, the left side, oh well, this far side looking not so, not so good. Right, you are actually now in front. Yeah, let's jump on with you, since you're in front. Right. They're still at 112, I think it's due to this, br this bridge, this section of bridge, may actually be the top speed. Now that they're back on solid ground, they can speed up. And they can speed up again with 143 here. The train and the black livery is sort of falling behind now. Coming to this next section, they will all have to slow down for this. Down to 90 something, because I'm pretty sure, well 100, that's pretty good, but down to 96. That Hector Rail train in the sort of middle there sort of closed in a bit of ground. Uh, let's jump on the U as we go through, 100 miles per hour. Now there's a straight section for a tiny little bit. Starts coming around to the left and we'll be back outside again. Right, a lot of katana, eh? <laughs> Right, the train and the black livery sort of fallen. Fallen back pretty far now. How does it look from your point of view? You could only see the side of the DHL train. <laughs> Now that doesn't necessarily mean that this train and this side will finish last. There may be other corners that will benefit it in the future. We gained a bit of ground on the DHL train there. Now, there is a section down here. In the last race, the German Class 103 got held up down here. I did actually look at it. And uh, I'm going to do a little review episode of all the races and things so far. And uh, I did a little stewards inquiry. So if you watch the review, you'll find out exactly what happened to the Class 103. 
But no, no one seems to be getting caught up this time. As they head across the street, looks like these three are pretty close together. Now they are not at top speed, they are starting to accelerate now though. Oh, we are clipping, clipping uh, going on there. Right, they're heading up. These guys on the inside may have to slow down for this corner. They should be able to take it at full speed, we'll soon find out. Nightjet team still seems to be in the lead. Wow, you had to slow down terribly there. Okay, you've lost a fair bit of ground on that section. So yes, being on this track that this train is on seems to be not so good. Although that may not have affected the other trains that actually were on this track because they would not have been as fast as this 143 mile an hour train. Let's see if he can make some ground back. He is starting to speed up again. We'll go through here. It looks like this guy on this side is starting to suffer also. So it may actually work out quite even. Being on the middle track may be beneficial. Right, they are crossing the bridge now. They are heading up to the slow section. The Hector Rail train is now in first. Just the Porsche train that was sort of lagging behind is caught up. So we'll see once they get to the slow section exactly how things plan out. Clearly the Porsche train should win. Oops, slowing down terribly there. And speeding up again. As he slows down. Right, so they do have different braking points. This is actually teaching me a lot. <laughs> right, they are going mega slow. They will have to slow down even more for here. Looks like the Porsche train is just easing out in front. Again, the middle tracks still seem to be the tracks to be on. Let's jump back on board with our train in last. Oops, that's the wrong train. And it's you I wanted. So the trains on the outside lines are going to suffer the more, uh, the most. The ones in the middle seem to be doing the best. Now there is a dodgy section at the other end of this tunnel where trains predominantly on this left hand line and right hand line sort of slow down basically at a crawl. They'll have to come down to about 50 or the rest of the trains can continue on. It's because there's a lot of kink in the track down to 67 I think it was there. Now we'll just have to see how they get on. Going down through the valley, Hector Rail train now in first. Well, this rail jet is sneaking up the inside. This train seems to be back on track, it seems to have caught up a lot more ground. And the DHL train and the... Is it Diplock? Who are you? Dispo lock. Okay. Right, you're suffering. The track is not your friend. Right, let's jump on board with Porsche. Uh oh. There we go. As they head down, only doing 106. Now they're speeding up. You see the track off there in the distance, that's where they're heading to, and then round here. Now it's 126 the max speed for this bridge, no it's not. Back up to 143. Let's see how our last place train is getting on. It is quite a fair bit behind now. Right, they'll head 
coming down the hill at full speed. We are approaching the the evil Knievel dip. You can actually see it in the chart there. How does it look like from here? Oh dear God. Instant death. <laughs> right, they are slowing down. Ooh, it looks like the DHL train managed to catch. Gain a bit of ground there. Now it's, it's this train here I'm interested in to see if it can claw it back. And if they all finish in exactly the same position, if it finishes in a complete draw, then I'll be happy. <laughs> that would be a turn up for the boots, but I'm pretty sure they will not. Because I'm pretty sure the trains on these two tracks here are the ones that are going to suffer. Although it might come to a point where our trains on these two tracks suffer as well. But the ones in the middle should be not too bad. They've sort of got the best or both of worst. Uh, the best or worst of both worlds. This line here that the Hector Rail train seems to be this track here seems to be the one that is the fastest. Right, you're slowing down terribly, so he should slow down and you should gain up a bit of ground on our DHL train. And Dispo Walk train should catch up as well. 77. The DHL train is still in sight. They are approaching the slow section with the 75 mile an hour bridge. There are the rest of the contenders in front. You're starting to speed up. And then through here they're not at this trestle bridge, which is painfully slow. I thought things like these, these little weird anomalies that you get, like this landslide and stuff, might slow it down. But it doesn't seem to affect the trains at all, so that's good. Right, how are we looking? They are basically on their way back. They're on their way home. You're still a fair bit back. The Hector Rail train still in front, but will it stay in front? That seems to be the big question. As we pass the coal mine now. Is that a coal mine? Or maybe it's a quarry. Right, they should be able to start speeding up now. You've not cleared the bridge, so they're going to gain some ground on this train at last. They are still going pretty slow though. As they head through this section for the last time. Let's see how you're getting on. 74, which is quite terrible. Only going at half the actual speed, or just over half the actual top speed. Now these trains are miles in front now. And whether this train can claw it back, I'm, uh, I'm completely unsure about at the moment. He is up to 143. Slowing down again. So he's unfortunately basically in the inside track for the whole length of the map. And it may be the inside track trains that suffer in these races. But every train will have a, sh a turn on the inside track, so. Back up to one, four, three. 
does look as though he's closing slightly. He will have to slow down for this section, the same as everyone else. The Hectorian, Hectorial train still in first. Yes, dangerously slow for this guy there. He should be able to get back on the power now though. Yes, here he goes. Can I actually click on one of these? There we go. We shall leave the train in the last position for the moment. So these guys are battling it out for second and third. As they come over the hill. They are battling it out for fourth and fifth. The inside track train almost going gone for sight now. Right, they will be entering a slow section through here and round past this bridge in the top left here. But there are other trains that have done well on this inside track, so it may make a comeback. How's he looking? No, he's really far behind now. They are heading to the slow section. Again, unfortunately, for the black train. It's going to be slow around here. He will be able to take this corner slightly faster than the rest of these trains. Ah, I should have jumped on board with the car there. I keep forgetting. Right, you're coming around. Can you gain any sort of ground at all? These guys are going to have to slow down quite a fair bit to get round here. He was sort of gaining on them there for a brief moment. Help the Hector, the Hector rail train probably has got this. How are you getting on? Oh, save for the win there. Right. Have you any hope of catching any of these guys? I don't think so. Let's jump on board with the Porsche again. second or are you going to finish third? Who knows? And these two are quite close as well. As they come up to the final corners, the finish line is in sight. It's just above there. So we'll soon see from the aerial view. <laughs> there we go, nice. Nice little aerial shot there as they head into the tunnel. Now let's see how they get on going through through these corners. You're down to 62, 63. Still nobody managing to catch the Hector rail train. You may be able to pass the night jet train. Just staying in front. Okay. Where is our training last? You're there. So you are definitely last. So the inside track is uh, no use. Right, let's tilt the camera back around again. We'll jump on board with our first place train as they come down here to the finish line. There they are coming down the hill. Let's get rid of this. 
Let's spin it around so we're directly parallel to this. I can hear them coming. So, in first, the Hector Rail Train, the Night Jet Train in second, Porsche in third, DHL fourth, Austrian Weird Steam Livery in fifth, and unfortunately, quite a fair bit behind the Dispo Lock Train. So, there you have it, the end of the bonus race. Let's pause it so these trains don't try to escape again. Not that it matters because it's the end of the race. Uh, I, have, I have actually stopped you, stopped you. You are already making your way back out. So, there you have it. Uh, we'll make him turn around and come back to the station. Our winner there, about to do his victory lap. There you have it. So, the results would show that the inside track that goes all the way around the map is the most painful track to be on. This train suffered greatly for it. So any of the racers that were on this inside track uh, probably may have done better. So it's hard to tell. But first place was the Hector Rail train, which was sort of in the middle. Then there was the Night Jet train that was in second. Uh, closely third was the Porsche train, then the DHL train, this Austrian steam train, livery train in fifth, and the Dispo Lock train in last. So, there it is. There is results. Take from that uh, what you wish. But that is it from the Gotthard map. It is the end. It's been great sort of rolling around here. At sort of high speed and semi high speed with the three different classes and the bonus trains so it's been interesting it was fun to make this uh, the next race I have a map in mind for and it will be aired at the end of May and the last weekend of May the at the races uh, season race 2 will or the second batch of races will be unleashed but that's been it from the Gotthard line uh, this has been transport fever I've been Danny boy as always if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like or comment or if you'd like to see any trains running in bonus races in some of the future maps leave a comment uh, and we'll see if I can do but that's been it for the first race of the first season at the transport fever at the races so I've been Danny Boy and I will catch you later.